chaos and infinite silences, intense aromas, spices and the scent of blossom. As looking deep into the distance, inscrutable faces and generous smiles, open and hospitable. India is all of this, everything and the opposite of everything. You set foot in India and it changes you, more than you could ever expect. We arrive at Bangalore airport in the middle of the night. Father CB has been waiting for a while. During the two hour drive to the Vanaprastha Center, we bombard him with our eager questions. We want to know everything about him and his children. Just over two hours rest and finally the meeting. Auntie, what's your name? We answer these questions dozens of times as the kids clamor to find out who we are. No surprise, if CB is dead, as guest of the children's homes, we are all aunts and uncles. At some point in our lives, everyone asks themselves, who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose in life? When I arrived here, I found the ground barren and dry. But for me, it was therapeutic. It took me three years to buy a piece of land. And during this time, I lived with the local people and came to know them and that their needs were not so spiritual, but mainly they needed material help, for example, health care. Because I saw children with swollen stomachs suffering from malnutrition and women uncared for. Being a chameleon, I decided to build a health care center. The clinic is now a well-organized center with physicians and nurses not far from the children's home. It takes in and treats many patients arriving from the nearby villages. One day, a caring nun called me and asked if I would take care of an orphan child who was living on the streets outside a temple in Bangalore. I brought him to the center and he had the most splendid smile, but I could see in his eyes he was very sad. I thought, probably because he was alone and wouldn't it be great if there were two or three other children. So immediately I started a search for other needy children and I found five and I brought them here too. But I really realized it wasn't enough to just feed them, they needed educating too. So I sent them to the village school. There, there were just three teachers for more than 300 children. What type of education would they receive? I thought to myself, it would be wonderful to have the opportunity to open a school. When I arrived in Italy, your father called me and he said, Padre Sibi, come here, I want to talk to you. And so, the school was created. So, let's go and visit the school. What could be better than sharing the trip with the kids on the school bus? The journey is just over an hour of smiles and laughter. From village to village, the bus feels to bursting with small, younger and older kids from 4 to 16.
We are welcome as if it's a special occasion. Order and respect. We are guests of honor at a real event. Keep on studying. Because uh, you will be able to make your dream come true. It's very important for our community that this school open, so even the poorest children can go to school and we can help them to have a better future. My students are students, when they go out of the campus, they should be prepared enough uh, to select their future, select their career, select their profession. So in that way we are molding them. Enthusiasm for the school and great confidence in their country's future. This is what Father Civis International School teaches. There are many things to be in school. First of all we have to be educated. By educating we can develop our country. And the second way we can also give other students the awareness to get studied and they can also be educated because today's children are tomorrow's citizens. It's a very beautiful school. It's a really second home for us. Also we learn many values that which we take to our life. I like to remain in our country and I like to open a branch outside the country in the name of India. I like to help people who are in need and uh, have to make India to become poverty and I want all to be educated as India should be a developed country. All my people should be very happy. It's constantly growing, offering a better future for more and more kids. Let me ask you, who is God? Oh. God is a child, as it is written in front of our school, in this temple of education, we adore your child, our God. The child is God, our very own God. Spending time at the Vanaprasta Center with Father Sibi has taught us that God unites, not divides. A lesson, and I'm not scared to say so, for the entire world during this time of intolerance, hate and wars of religion and power. What are we bringing back from our journey to India? Joy, happiness, serenity and the great faith in the possibility of a better world. And never just empty words, it's a renewed belief in this profound truth. Thank you, India. Thank you, Father Sibi. Thank you.